So I'm going to get very real with you right here. I am actually in my underwear right now. And uh, <laughs> we all have those dreams, um, you know, where we show up in that public place, maybe at school or work, and um, we're in our underwear and we are overcome by fear. Growing up, I was a part of a family and a church that was all about love and community. And, uh, but also in my experience growing up, I was exposed to stories uh, in the Christian tradition about a God who wanted to kill me. I remember being at a, at a family's house for egg bake. Uh, it was really to indoctrinate me through showing me this movie from the 70s called The Thief in the Night, which was about the rapture. And the whole purpose was to fear me, scare me, into um, believing in Jesus. That was traumatic. Um, that sent me on a trajectory of confusion and fear and just constantly asking what the hell is this all about? What is this God thing all about? And I'm so grateful that, you know, over the following 15, 20 years, holy cow, um, that tiny, tiny box that this uh, story was put in was blown open. And it was blown open through experiences that I've had, um, through going through uh, addiction and recovery through engaging with big stories um, critically like uh, Christianity and, and Buddhism and our and our myths um, thinking deeply about psychology and um, just being surrounded by people who kept telling me be who you are be who you are and keep asking questions, and keep keep on keep on going. Um, God, I'm so grateful for those people and those experiences, even the painful ones. You know, we are people who we're not wicked from our mother's womb, but we are fearful. We're all worried that we're sitting here in our underwear, and that somebody might find out about it. Be in your underwear. Be you. Be real. We need communities that allow people to be honest. Communities that create safe space for us to get real about our fear, our questions, for us to get healing um, from those traumatic experiences and stories that have just, for some, destroyed our lives. Um, that's what intertwine is and I need your help to build it. Uh, we are building a community that gathers around questions and listening and big stories and our own stories. And most importantly, we gather around learning to be compassionate human beings. There is extreme racism in our country. There is a war going on against this planet that is caring for us and we are destroying it. There is just complete, complete uh, war on us as human beings that we're supposed to find our meaning through stuff or looking a certain way or believing a certain thing and it's all just a bunch of bullshit, okay? Um, we need to be freed from that. But we need community in order to do that. Intertwine Northeast is a community in Northeast Minneapolis that's coming together to, to invite people to be okay being in their underwear, to make a safe space for that. Now don't show up on Sunday in your, in your literal underwear. Um, it's Minnesota, it'd be cold. Uh, but do show up and be real. And um, I'd love to invite you to support Intertwine Northeast, this experiment of community, maybe even a post-church church that we're building. Engage with us, uh, follow our story, and if you would, um, help me build this community of people who 
can be okay being in their underwear. Um, donate here at our generosity crowdfunding campaign. And um, thanks for listening.